Hopefully, all of our listeners know that uh, there's an election coming up on November 4th. And uh, while it's not uh, my intention to take sides in this election, I do implore and plead with every one of our listeners, every listener that cares about business, that cares about jobs, to get involved and speak up on the issues that matter. Uh, We spent the majority of uh, the past few minutes talking with Folks like Dave Ritter from Network Chicago, folks like Tom Fiegel from Tandem HR, folks that are trying to make a difference in the business community. And now we're thrilled to have with us on the air uh, Mark Kalish of the S4 Group, who spends a lot of his time uh, in government advocacy. Mark, thanks for joining us on the air. Thank you, Sean. Thank you for having me. Fantastic. So, uh, Mark, you, uh, you spend a lot of time organizing people and getting people pumped up uh, about issues that matter. Uh, but arguably one of the most important issues is that of small business. Uh, most uh, most folks know that small businesses are the backbone of the economy, but individually, we're just one guy. We're just an entrepreneur. We're just one person out there trying to go up against the uh, the big guys that are out there. But you know what? I think what you've taught me over these past few years is that that's not always the case. By speaking up on the issues that matter, you're able to make a difference. Isn't that right? Absolutely. I would say that a far majority of those people who are elected to public office want to do what's right for their community. And small businesses really represent uh, what's right for, you know, for their community. So when, uh, when groups like yours are organized, uh, well thought out, um, and uh, well spoken, then uh, the, the, those who are in elected office listen and act upon what it is that, uh, that they're asked of. And with the election coming up on November 4th, which is just about six weeks away, it's an sure. opportunity for people to uh, to speak up a- on issues that matter. Here in Illinois, we have uh, two candidates, uh, Bruce Rauner and Pat Quinn, running for governor. We've got other statewide races that, uh, that are being spoken about. And people can make a difference by, by voting and by speaking up. Um, the, uh, I believe the, the deadline to register to vote is October 7th, which is just literally a few days away. Do you think, uh, Mark, do you think that elected officials pay attention to, uh, to who's registering to vote and who's actually showing up to the polls? I'll tell you a great story. A few years ago when we were doing a, uh, a get-out-the-vote campaign, so we were working together with a very organized um, uh, campaign group in the north side of Chicago, and then when we got to certain houses, uh, they kept on going. And, you know, my people would ask them, why do you keep on going? So because they're registered and they don't vote, so therefore they don't matter. Huh. Uh, and that taught me a tremendous lesson, uh, watching that with my very own eyes, uh, that grounds people from an important elected official who literally passed over houses of people who were registered to vote. But because they didn't exercise that right, they didn't even receive a knock on the door to make sure that they were okay. Imagine if someone doesn't even register to vote. Incredible. Uh, we're speaking with Mark Kalish of the S4 Group, uh, and we are taking your calls at 312-642-5600. Uh, Mark, when you came on the air, you mentioned, uh, you mentioned this, uh, this point about, uh, about elected officials you know, listening and uh, elected officials, generally speaking, wanting to do what's right. Do you think that the average small business owner can call the office of an elected official and they will actually be listened to? I can tell you a great. Uh, I'll tell you a great story that happened to me uh, when I first went down to Springfield. Um, it was uh, uh, I went into Representative Lou Lang's office and I told him who I was there uh, representing. He got up from behind his desk. He came around and gave me a hug, and he <laughs> said, "I've been wanting to hear the voice of that community of that office for years. I am so happy that you are here representing that voice. I promise you." a small business owner, to pick up the phone, to call their uh, uh, state assemblyman or state, house, you know, state representative or state senator, even their congressman or city councilman, they will get directly to the elected official themselves, especially if they own a business in their district. 
that's great advice. And I can tell you've been doing this for a while because you just referred to all of the terms, the state assemblyman, the state representative, every possible term that can be used. You just used it. But I love it because you're making a difference by speaking up and by helping groups of people speak up. Um, but again, that, that call to action from this show. And again, our listeners might might differ on issues. We might disagree on tax policy. We might have differences of opinion on a number of different subjects. But by speaking up, by registering to vote, by voting, you are already doing a big, 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 important service to the communities that you're trying to represent. And that's what our friend Mark Kalish of the S4 if group I, does all I the time. Could, if I could follow up on that point, I would say that 25 percent, if two billion dollars was spent on the election, the last presidential election, I would say that 25 percent of that money is goes to analyzing the data of those who are registered to vote and if they voted, meaning that they go down to, you know, if they're a small business owner, if they're a male, if they're a female, if they're foreign, if they're, if they're born in the United States, 25% of $2 billion was used just to analyze data so that they could know what platforms they need to take as they go into office the next year to ensure that they will stay in office. So we need people to register to vote. We need people to show up to vote. Make your voice heard. Again, we're talking with Mark Kalish of the S4 Group. You can reach Mark with any questions at ymkalish at s4grp.com. With any follow-up questions, Mark, thanks for joining us on the air. After the break, we're talking with Stephen Dime of Flowers for Dreams. More conversation about small business.